Hello, 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 everyone. So it's Wednesday. That means we have Hero of Leaf Valley coming up. Now, we do have an event that should have happened today. I was going to say it's going to happen today, but then I remember it's raining today. So we won't have the, um, the event today. We will have it tomorrow, though, so that's always a good thing. I'm actually recording this a little later than I usually do. Um, I got home from the gym and realized, oh, cred, my computer needs to charge. Well, more like I saw it being charged and I opened it and it was like 19%. I'm like, oh. At least I have family members who are kind enough to plug in my laptop and be like, hey, your thing is charging. So, there's that. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like I probably said in another episode, going to the gym has actually helped with my energy. So, you know, uh huh, what a waste. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut down some water today. We need it for that rainy season. Luckily, the rainy season doesn't last as long in summer, but it doesn't hurt to have it. So, let's go ahead and take care of these guys. So, that'd probably be like. We do have to give gifts to people, though. I just. I don't want to focus on. Getting the fodder. Oh, we should be fine. By fine, I mean we'll go through the gifts real quick and then we'll hurry up onwards to um, cutting down fodder because we need some desperately. Go oh, shake. Let me love you, shake. There we go, good girl. Probably at the end of this month, we'll buy, by month and season, we'll go ahead and buy a cow from. Bob, don't, don't go too far. I'm not kicking you out in the rain. They'll hate me if you do. So, let's go milk them. Yeah, I definitely do. I Not definitely, but I really do want to go ahead and actually get some, get the small milk in our, like, hey, this is something I sold inventory, like how we did with the mineral crop. Excuse you. Come here, please. Thank you. There we go. Side, side, yeah. Now we take care of these guys. Now you're gonna do the most difficult ones of all. The chickens. I say difficult because we all know how they are. They get everywhere. It's not a cramped space, but it's not exactly open. So, joy! Joy! Oh boy. You know what's even worse? Friday's episode is going to be extremely long, just because there's a lot of events that will happen on one of those days, and like, like you know how we do two days per episode, so it's like 30 minutes? Yeah, it's gonna take more than that, so bear with me guys on Friday, it will be a long episode, but it does involve an important event, you know, it's with Alice and them, so just bear with me, we'll get through this together. I'll have Alice in High School Musical. I will. But you know what's funny? I get judged so much for knowing and actually liking High School Musical. But people don't remember that I was actually in high school when that happened. I felt... I liked it. Don't judge me. So I like High School Musical and their song. I was actually in high school. And like my sister-in-law makes fun of me. I'm like, girl, you were in high school too. I don't want to hear it. Like, ugh. Ugh. Don't make fun of people for their music taste. Sure, if they like high school musical, they like high school musical. Maybe they were actually in high school when it came out. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now before I continue to embarrass myself. So are you, let's go ahead and take care of all of this. And I was gonna work on putting down Dia and Gina's level, but I believe they have more events. Not, it's more like optional events that we don't need, but I do want them. So I'm gonna not, you know, I'm gonna not do it until like maybe December, where I'll go ahead and work on getting them to hate me, just so that I can focus only on Gwen and only have her. As my bride, not the other lady. So let's go ahead and give some people some gifts. Not all of them, just 
really one person or maybe two. So let's go take care of them real quick. Let's go into... Oh, it's not open yet. Yes, but you will soon. Man, I did so much yesterday as a recording of you, Hot Couture Dorming Tactics. I had to clean a rat cage and... Mind you guys, I have five rats and I had to quarantine one, one of them because she has got a, like, a bad cut on the underside of her. Oh, I meant to give him a berry. So, you know, I quarantined her because her sister and her daughter like to bully her. And so she's in a separate smaller cage, but the girls are still in like a bigger cage. So I gotta take care of that, and it's huge. I am, thank you, Aria. Oh, I was gonna say, what happened? Sorry, I was, what you heard was the sound of my mouse falling. And, oh, it sounded like it came out, but it didn't. My goodness, Aria. You are a pain in my butt. But anyway, so, you know, it's a bigger cage. I am like 5'4, five, 5'5 five, five on a good day, and it comes up to my shoulders. So, well, just below my shoulders. It's still pretty big. And no, shoulders. Yeah, it's my shoulder height. Yeah, so it's pretty big, and it takes almost all day just to do it. You gotta scrub it and all that. Ugh. Love them, but ugh. What? No, don't get sick. I need you to be healthy. You're actually one of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. I should just go check on the blue mist flower. We do need to go to Lila and sell some things to her, because we have it. As I say. Oh, goodness, no. Goodness me. I realize now what mood my cat is in. She did not let me out move. No. And she'll start dropping things. Ugh. She'll be fine. She will be fine. I mean, she involuntarily came into the room, so I'm not gonna fight for it. She'll be okay. Anyway, let's quickly go ahead to Lila, and we'll go ahead and actually sell the other stuff tomorrow, just because Lila's not opened Sunday, so... We might as well go ahead and, uh, uh, the film now. There we go. I had a brain fart. You know what? I'm going to be honest. I kind of feel like maybe my, the headphones and the mic to my headphones aren't probably set up. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, I fully believe that my audio quality has definitely improved, but I feel like something's just a bit off. So I'm probably going to go ahead and look that up. But I don't think so. I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and sell... No, like that. There you go, Wild Mint. There you go. Once again, I'm not worried about the other stuff. That can wait to another time. Or maybe I'll do it after I cook down some fodder. Because at least I'm going to go ahead and head to the cafe and basically burn the money I'll end up getting from them just so that we don't we don't get sick for tomorrow since it's the final year we're pressed for time I want to get all these events or at least try for them that was my lip lip okay Mike I don't know why you're so close to my mouth but I got like a lip full <laughs> I got like a lip full of bite what I got I mean, like an actual mic, not the name mic. Okay, let's go ahead. Take care of all this mess. There we go. Yes. I really just want to make sure we'll have enough for the rainy season. Because we do have more animals now. Rainy season lasts a while. What do we got? Four cows and a horse? And soon we'll have five cows and a horse. That's six, guys. So we'll have to deal with six per rainy day, which at the most is like seven, if that. So seven times six, seven, 14, 21. That's 42. So we'll definitely need as much as we can get. Besides, I don't really like it when the grass is tall and baby cows get lost in here. Like, in Save the Homeland, you didn't have your chicken in the pasture with the cows and the horse before that I felt safe doing that 
like when I first played the game, that's how I felt safe with my animals. Like, okay, I'm gonna put you guys in here. I don't know they're a wild dog. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna do this. And you know, I would cut up an area. Oh, my character's getting sick. Look at him. He's got like a deep shadow on his face. Nope. We're gonna end that today. But yeah, and I would clear up a bit of an area for the. Uh, for the chicken, but the chicken would always disappear from that area. Like, he didn't care. Like, I'm not gonna sit here, forget that. Go el I'll go elsewhere, I don't care. Like, ugh. Being a pain in my butt. Let's go ahead and restore what energy we can restore, because I almost made that character pass out. So, let's not have that happen. Let's go ahead, and while we're here, we might as well sell it. Because we're here, and we're gonna do it anyway. So, I wonder what they'll say to this. Yep. Yep. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, I'm not hungry, but... It will definitely help for me to eat all this. Because, goodness me, I overdid it. Is it bad that I overdid it? Maybe. But... It's nice to happen. I have a living. Get all these eggs, take that. I believe I have a walnut. You may have this as well. That's fine. Especially that full berry. Let's go ahead. We'll alternate between cheesecake and the herb the herb tea. Because like I said, no need to get sick. That's not where I'm at, where I'm about right now. Hello, Miss Aria. I see exactly what you're doing. She just knocked down my sailing wind pump final. Excuse you, my dear. Does your Infamy, no, no bounds. Do you not love me? Do I not treat you with kisses and cuddles and treats and catnip? I am basically your drug dealer. No one else will give you catnip the way I give you catnip. I set it up all nice for you and you just shun me like that? My goodness, I mean, she didn't knock down the other two I have that I haven't properly put away, but that's not the point. Aria! You love me! At least you're supposed to love me. Guys, this cat man, she is the death of me. She's cute, but she's evil. Okay, so there's not much more we can do for this day. So we're gonna go ahead and- Oh, not the bully and the dog. Tell ya, she knows no bounds. Evil. Pure. Evil. I've showed a picture of her before, guys. She's evil. Cute. Fierce. Strong. Evil. She's everything I want to be in a woman, because she's a cat. Which is impressive, but... It's exactly what I want to be as a woman. I look up to you, Arya. But you gotta stop with this. Don't treating me so badly. Alright, let's go to the next day. Hopefully we'll get the event going for us. I really hope we do. Hopefully we're not sick, but I'm gonna scream. Um, it's gonna be sunny. Any other events coming up? No, but Rudolph's birthday is coming up, so I'll definitely give him a gift before we take care of those, all those evil events. It's gonna be a long episode, guys. And I won't dilly-dally, but I will eventually do my best. Next day! Aw, oh, yes. There we go, we're not sick, so that's a good sign. Yay! Sunny weather! Because I'm tired. One, two, three. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. It is a birthday. Anyway, let's go out and get this event. I'm not sure if it's going to happen here. It's, it involves Lila, so it's going to be here or it's going to be where the... Yeah, so it's probably going to be where the... Ah, uh, the blue mist is. So we'll take care of that when we get there. For now, let's go ahead and take care of our animals. And they can come out now! And I'm not gonna bother with the chickens, guys, because, my goodness, they are a lot of work. So much work. Anywho, let's take care of these guys, because we love them. And they are important to us. There you go. Brushing you. He looks so happy when he's brushing his animals, like, oh, I love you guys, I'm gonna brush ya. Grow up big and strong. You're in good moods. I love it. You know another way you can actually 
go ahead and get a small book by working for Bob, but to be honest, I really don't want to take a break from all our other work just to do that, because I'd be compelled to stay until like the end of the shift and get all that money, money, money. So let's not do that. Let's just buy it from him and get it over with. Take care of you. There we go. Excellent. And you. There we go. There we go. So let's actually get... Where's that bell? Let's get this bell up. We'll go over to the coop. And we'll go ahead and ring the bell. Let's get them out of here. There you go. Come on, everybody. It's a bright, beautiful day. I think I'll go for a walk outside. Sunshine calling my name. I don't know if that's how the song goes, but that's how I sang it. That is how I sang it. Let's go ahead, pick all these up. Let's pick you up. <laughs> fried. I'm really terrible. It could be anything. It could be a fried chicken. It could be a fried egg. Ooh, that sounds good. So you side up egg right now? Mm. That temptation is rising within me. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I'll go make some stuff. Maybe not. Mm. So do you. Let's go ahead and take care of all of this. Um... I could go ahead and get more for potatoes and wild mint seeds. Six of these maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and get more uh, seeds. Ah, oh, we can't! Buy those clothes! Oh well. Maybe next time. Maybe not at all, you know. There you go. There we go. And all our people are on the way. Ah, oh, Rudolph's close. Not Rudolph, Ronald's close too. But he should be in the chicken coop by now. Or at least hovering out around his property. So, let's check here first. So if he's in here, let's give him a gift and then we can bounce. Oh, he's not here. Where are you? Rudolph, um, Ronald. Where's comes the He's at the cafe at night. So I'm not worried about it. Did you let me in now? Oh, okay. I thought we were friends, but I guess not. Hey, who? Let's go. Let's get to the vet. I kind of feel like chopping down trees. But, hmm. Same thing. Sorry, I kind of had to have one eye on my cat. Because I actually went deep in the cleaning of my room. And I put up some glass statues my family gave me. And if she already broke a tip off one, but I fixed that. But I think she broke it completely. I, I might have to give her away. I love her, but I wouldn't be able to handle it. You got it. Oh. <laughs> I was going to be another part of the event. I was going to be terrified. Like, Ooh. can I pick it up? No, I can't. Oh, huh, that's weird. I mean, then again, it would be weird for me to pick it up. It only took a few days, though. Like, 
like 10 days to actually grow it. I, I look back on my notes to see when that event happened, and it happened on the 2nd. So, oh, hello, this is Alice. Funny seeing you here. Watch, she actually has something to say about it. Let's see it. of the events and the choices we do in like saving her from her own machines. I know I saw him. We actually help her FP that way. Oh! Oh! That makes sense you would talk about this. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Which is interesting that he would have something to say about it, especially since he actually plays a part in the Blue Mist Flower for Save the Homeland. Uh, let's see if she has anything to say about it. Aww. Butterflies. Where are you, Bambi? You're good for this stuff. Anyway, um, like, in order to actually activate that event first, we need to befriend Kurt. So you would have to like, be not even, you don't even just get his FP up that high, like maybe one tomato, and he'll automatically, and you'll probably automatically activate the event when you walk into the carpentry area, where he's like, he's looking for the blue mist, and he wants to know, not the blue mist, the butterfly. And he talks about how, you know, he's embarrassed that that's what he's looking for, and that, um, you might, and I think the goddess just shows up and says the best bet is to ask someone who knows about flowers, which is Lila, who goes ahead and talks to Parsley about it. Alright, I'm really just trying to see if anyone else wants to talk about it. Um, we do have stuff to sell though, about that. I mean, we really don't need, oh no, fine. There we go. Moving on. Yeah, we talked to Parsley and eventually it activates the event. And I'm pretty sure this is the case, but I th I'm pretty sure you can get two options for the ending. Like, one option, uh, Lewis 
shows up and he takes a picture of Lila with the blue mist and the butterfly. And in another event, uh, Lila talks about mm, how she actually felt like at, in one part of the event, Carlsley disappears and like he he walks he goes away and okay, good up. And Lila goes after him. Then when the blue mist has bloomed and everything, Lila shows up saying, I basically went to Parsley's wedding and gives you a part of the bouquet that she caught. And she goes off to talk about it and Gwen and Kurt come to see the flower. And they talk. Ooh, hello. I shall. Then yeah, they talk a bit, they start to leave, Kurt smiles, because he's like, oh cool. Uh, I, I don't know why he smiles, but he does. So, it is interesting that they kept it true, the fact that he has a small involvement, or that he's interested in it. So, that's great. Especially since, you know, he talks about how he likes flowers, so... A plus, marvelous A plus. It's not your fault that Natsumi decides to butcher yourself and give me incomplete things. <gasps> you. You have anything to say? That's not. I do have two other people to talk about, talk to, which is, okay, three, four. Oh, make that three. Just give him a gift. Here, have this cranberry. I know you do, that's what I gave you. What was that ripping sound? <laughs> it wasn't me. It's gotta be my cat, wherever she is. Tell you guys, cute but evil. So, this is basically taking up all of our day. Okay, a few people to talk about. About this blue mist flower. I doubt Chester would have anything to say about it, but it doesn't hurt to see what he has to say. Hello? Oh, I'm sure he would. I am sure he would. Oh, Aw, how sweet. Anywho, let's continue. We have to talk to Chester about it. Maybe the gods know something about it? Like, ugh, I don't want to keep talking to her to the point where she'll go ahead and, like, we get her event. Because this is risky, guys. Like, I don't know if it's whoever liked you first. Because if that was the case, it'd be Gwen, but... <sighs> yeah, not really. That's the other thing. But, yeah, like, I also know that, well, I actually just found this out, that in order for Alice to stay in the valley, you have to want to marry her. And I'm actually going to look up ways so that that isn't the case. So that... Sorry for that sound. My cat was trying to knock something down, and... It wasn't mine, so I'm not having that today, but... <laughs> he really loses a train of thought! Anyway, as I was saying... Sure. It's fine. Like, I don't want to not be able to marry Gwen. Gwen's the whole reason yeah, I'm marrying someone in this game, so her or nothing. If I can't marry her, I will scream bloody murder. Just bloody murder. You know what? Let's get a catfish. Let's try and catch a catfish. Before we go to bed, because it's basically the end of the episode. We're just gonna go ahead and kill time until like 5 o'clock. If you're a catfish, you'll make me happy. <gasps> you are! I'm gonna give this to Joe and he'll like me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want this bait. You'll love it! Oh, for some reason I thought the other fish in the beard. Like, whoops, I'm gone. You know, fishing in this game kind of makes me want to fish myself. But I haven't gone fishing since I was a kid. So. And where I live in Pennsylvania, fishing's like a big deal. Like they go out, I see people with like fishing licenses and everything 
because they just went fishing and stuff. I have people smelling like fish, which is not pleasant at all. And all that. But, I don't know, maybe I'll go with my coworker. Oh! Oh, you weren't rare, but you were big. Oh, no, you're, yeah, you're definitely big. I wonder, does he like eels? Let's go find out. Let's find out if Joe will actually accept an eel from us. He probably won't, but doesn't hurt to try. I'll probably go ahead and, after giving him a gift, I'll go ahead to the farm set up. I don't know like, where or how you guys appear. What is so magical about that tree? Is it like a secret portal? I don't know. Are you? Well, go ahead. Oh, are you talking to you? I just remembered you. Okay, you can't talk now. And I don't have a gift for him anyway, I forgot. I sold it. I could have sworn he liked eggs. I don't know why he gets such a normal response about eggs. Like, buddy, I know you like eggs. I can give them to you. Oh man, Persona has been in my head forever. I will leave you a lot. Do you like this? Cool. I don't know what you can do with an eel, but that's okay by me. So. Yep, let's get this hoe, this hoe up so that we can go ahead and take care of our field. Because there's a lot to do in that field. I mean, not really, but I wish I could pick up this bunny. Just because it's been at my weight so many times. I know it doesn't mean to, it's just a bunny, but, but it, you are in my way. I love you. You're adorable. Oh. Whew. I am so glad that this is, like, um, the more recent story of Season Carbon Moon game, because I would have destroyed my prop. You know what was confusing? Like, mind you, I'm not saying I played all the Harvest Moon games. I played Grand Bazaar, I played DS, never again, well maybe again, and a few of the recent ones. I thought it was interesting but really annoying that in Grand Bazaar, if you stuck in your crops, you would ruin them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in Grand Bazaar, but anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode, guys. We actually signed it to 5 o'clock exactly. That's awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. It's been great to actually experience these events with you guys. Thank you for putting up with me and my talking and my insane but evil and beautiful cat. And all the noises she makes along with my animals. Thank you so much, guys. I always appreciate it. For now, I'll go ahead and see you on Friday. Alright, guys. Take care now.